welcome back. So, after the excitement of the Sabutio Alive and Flicking World Cup, we get back to the day-to-day -day job of the 1970s league. So I've uh, so I've had to put the, the 1970s league to, to one side for a little while, uh, mainly because we had the cricket season. So I obviously started doing my cricket stuff. And then we had the Sabutio Alive and Flicking World Cup, uh, which you've just seen pan out. So now it's back to the 1970s league. Uh, so I've got a few games, uh, two games in this particular episode. What I've decided to do in general with the league is originally it was going to be 15 rounds of games and uh, yeah, it turned out to be a bit of a marathon. So I'm as far as 12 games uh, or 12 rounds and that will be the cutoff point. I've, I've been doing this for over 12 months now, so I thought with other projects that are, that are going on, it might be worth just to... Uh, Try and just cut it a little bit short. Um, it, the league was tight anyway, so it's not going to make a great difference. And um, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll see how, how that sort of finishes up uh, before, like I say, the new projects. So I still need to play out to the FA Cup semi-finals and, and final. So that will be something that I'll be finishing the season with. This video is two games. Then there's going to be another video, which will be another four games. And then finally, we'll finish off with the FA Cup. And that should take me neatly to the new year when uh, the new Alive and Flicking 1980s league kicks in. In this episode, Nottingham Forest 77-78. They'll be playing against Stoke City 75-76. And also we'll have Fulham 76-77 versus Leeds United 72-73. So some big teams from back in the day, some big names. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. And uh, yeah, let's get on with the action. Welcome to Craven Cottage. Now this game Fulham 1976-77 versus Leeds United 1972-73. And today's lineups. Fulham manager Bobby Campbell as Mellor in goal. The back four of Cutbush, Strong, Howe and captain Bobby Moore. In midfield, Slough, Evanson, Bullivant and Barrett. With a front two of Best and Mitchell. Leeds United manager Don Revy goes for the following lineup. Harvey in goal, a back four of Reaney, Cherry, Charlton and Hunter. In midfield, the captain Bremner, Lorimer, Giles and Maidley. With Clark and Jones, the front two. And it's Leeds United to kick off. Mitchell, or well, slight slip there by Mitchell. He still retains possession, and that's a good ball for Best. Best with a shooting chance, a block comes across. Best, oh, that's off the post. Harvey beaten, but it's still, nil-nil. Madeley wide on the left, that's a good first touch. Cutbush is there to block, Madeley. Oh, that was over Miller, off the crossbar and away. That was so close to being 1-0. Hunter out from the back, finds Giles. Giles plays forward, Lorimer. With a little space for him onto this. And that's a great goal by Lorimer. Mello with a save. Lorimer finishes the rebound. At the half time break, it's Fulham 0, Leeds United 1. Second half, can Fulham get back into this game? Fulham is in a good position, lays that across for Barrett. Barrett, oh it's 1 1. A great finish by Barrett. Off of his legs into the top corner. Cutbush. Oh, that's a dangerous ball across his own box. Oh, and there's a slip by Barrett. Madeley. Oh, it's 2 1 to Leeds. Mella can only parry the ball into the net. Leeds take the lead. Lorimer made to seal the game for Leeds. Oh, and that's a great block by Moore. Superb defending. But I'm afraid that's probably still too late for Fulham. And the final score Fulham 1, Leeds United 2. And the goal scores Barrett for Fulham with Lorimer and Maidley replying for Leeds. Man of the match, Peter Lorimer, Leeds United. 
Welcome to the city ground for today's game. Nottingham Forest 1977-78 versus Stoke City 1975-76. And the lineups for Nottingham Forest. Woods in goal. A back four of Anderson, Barrett, Needham and Burns. In midfield, we have McGovern the captain, O'Neill, Gemmell and Robertson. With With and O'Hare up front. The substitute is Woodcock. For Stoke, Shelton in goal. Back four, Marsh, Pedgick, Dodd and the captain, Bloor. In the midfield, Mahoney, Conroy, Hudson and Sabins. And the front pairing of Greenoff and Moores. With Hasselgrave on the bench. And it's Stoke City to kick off in the first half. This is a foray forward by Anderson. He's in a good position to get a shot away. Oh, that was a good effort. Just wide of the upright. The first warning shot from Forrest. Salmon's tight on the touchline there, but that's good play. Can he get a crossover? He can, and that's swung out to Hudson. Hudson, coming through the midfield. Good first touch. Good opportunity for Hudson. What a great finish. Overwoods. Stoke take the lead. It's 1-0. At the half-time interval, it's Nottingham Forest nil, Stoke City 1. It's Forest to kick off in the second half. There's an opening here for Robertson. Oh, that's an excellent block by Bloor. That was on target. Bloor deflects it for the corner. Corner from Robertson. Oh, that's off the foot of the post. Marsh was there, and I think he had that one covered. McGovern. That's good play by McGovern. I think he might get a shot away. Oh, that's an excellent attempt. A good block by Dodd. That may well have been going wide, but he had to make the block. The last few minutes, O'Hare running at the Stoke defence. They're out of position. This is a great opportunity for O'Hare. Can he get the equaliser? Yes, he can. Roof over the net. Pass Shilton. It's 1-1. Final score. Nottingham Forest 1, Stoke City 1. And the goal scorers, O'Hare for Forrest and Hudson for Stoke. Man of the match, Alan Hudson, Stoke City. And the league table with four games remaining. With that draw, Stoke City climbed one place to sixth. Leeds United with a victory climbed three places into eighth. Forrest dropped to tenth and Fulham down to eleventh. So, there we have it. Two close games, Fulham versus Leeds. Leeds, yeah, they probably deserved it over the balance of play. Uh, George Best is in the post. That was unfortunate, it was a good effort. But uh, Leeds with uh, Lorimer on form, Maidley, just a little bit too strong for Fulham. So uh, I would say a comfortable 2-1 win, but uh, in the end, a fully deserved victory. Nottingham Forest versus Stoke, always going to be a close game. Stoke nearly had the game wrapped up until the last five minutes when John O'Hare ran through the middle of the midfield. Defence all over the place. <laughs> they couldn't stop him. And he fired a shot over short and into the roof of the net. So, 1-1. And again, probably, probably a fair result on, on the balance of play. So, with four games remaining, that'll be the next video. That four games. Top four teams. All four of them, potentially could win the league. So it is a bit of a cliffhanger, even after 12 rounds of games. Um, it should be an interesting video, hopefully. Um, hopefully there'll be plenty of action. Well, do it'll be a, a four game bumper episode as opposed to, to the, the two game episode that I've just done. And hopefully that'll wrap up the season neatly from a, a league point of view. But like I said, still got the FA Cup to come. And I think the FA Cup's normally a nice way to, to finish the season. And uh, especially as it was in the 1970s when it was, uh, it was the real big game of the season, the FA Cup final. Oh, the two semi-finals, Leeds United versus Tottenham Hotspur and also Crystal Palace versus Chelsea. Two good games um, on paper, could be classics. So who will make it through to the FA Cup final? And like I said, there'll be a video that I'll be doing uh, after the, the next video, which will be the four final games in the league. So hopefully stay tuned and, and looking at those games when, uh, when they're uploaded onto the channel. As ever, 
thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you for viewing. Um, like I say, any comments, as always, appreciated. Um, like I say, if you feel so uh, inclined, hit the subscribe button. Uh, but otherwise, I'll, uh, I'll see you next time and uh, keep on flicking and bye for now.